Good evening, everyone. <laughs> welcome to my study. And welcome back. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Father Tammy. I'm the vicar of the parish of St. George Enfield in Freezing Water. Well, welcome to my... I'm not quite... not that messy anymore <laughs> study. Um, and today is the 6th of um, you know, February and, and um, we kept um, the today's Master Sunday service um, with the different themes but um, one of the main topics um, was um, the ascension of um, you know, Majesty the Queen 70 years ago. Now, a huge achievement I think. So um, we continue um, to pray for our Queen and all the leaders of the world and as we offer our um, the night prayer. But before I say um, the night prayer I think um, I've got um, um, something I need to do this. Um, Ron Beckwith um, to celebrate um, today's birthday and um, I think we we need to actually sing a happy birthday song to him. I wonder, um, I'm not sure whether the Ron is actually online. Um, I'm not sure um, whether, I couldn't see the screen so I don't know whether um, he is um, with us or not but um, I'm sure that he will watch at some point. So we're going to sing happy birthday um, song to um, the Ron. Okay. Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you Happy birthday dear Ron Happy birthday to you <laughs> Happy birthday to you Ron Brilliant and then it was um very you know um nice um for us to have a bit of you know a party um the last night on the Saturday. It was um joint um you know birthday party for um you know um Violet Trigit, um our finance officer and who celebrated um I'm not gonna mention the name, something one uh, <laughs> and then um the George as well. Um the George I think the George was ninety two. It was ninety two isn't it? So both, um, both of you as well. Um, belated congratulations again. Okay, now <laughs> I think we we have done what we we are called to do. Um, as a good Christians, we offer big, big congratulations to um to those who celebrate birthday. That's what we did. Okay, now um the tonight I'm going to um use um Psalm one hundred and two. And for a readings, a scripture reading, a very short one, I'm going to use um, one of the readings which is um, set for actually the Monday. Um, it is ordinary time Monday or the Sunday readings, but because we don't um, say the night prayer every day online, um, I'm, I'm trying to actually use the different readings rather than using a set readings um, for that particular day because um, I normally say um, the night prayers on um, done Sundays and then um, Thursdays. So I may end up using the same readings again and again and again, which is not fair for 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 all of us, including myself. So um, I'm going to try to um, use the different readings. Okay. Brilliant. Now, dear friends, let us have a moment of quietness um, before we offer our night prayer together. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins and heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia.
Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread on the foot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Now, tonight we're going to read a couple of verses from Psalm 102. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me. When I call, may haste to answer me. For my days are consumed in smoke, and my bones burn away as in the furnace. My heart is smitten down and withered like grass, so that I forget to eat my bread. From the sound of my groaning, my bones cleave fast to my skin, and become like the vulture in the wilderness, like an owl that haunts the ruins. He has brought down my strength in my journey and has shortened my days. I pray, O oh my God, do not take me in the midst of my days. Your ears endure throughout all generations. You change them like clothing, and they shall be changed. But you are the same, and your ears will not fail. The children of your servants shall continue, and their descendants shall be established in this in your sight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Tonight's um, scripture reading, which I'm going to use, is um, actually is a short scripture reading which is set for the Monday. That is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 15. Thus said the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest you shall be saved in quietness and in trust shall be your strength here ends the lesson into your hands o lord i command my spirit into your hands o lord i command my spirit for you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I command my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And into your hands, O Lord, I command my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye, and hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, 
and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now let us pray. God, you know us to be set in the midst of so many and great dangers. But by reason of the frailty of our nature, we cannot always stand upright. Grant to us such strength and protection as may support us in all dangers and carry us through all temptations. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changes changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord Amen and lighten our darkness Lord we pray and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night for the love of your only Son our Saviour Jesus Christ Amen Now we say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day, and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Now, um, thank you. Um, thank you everyone for joining me um, tonight for a very short um, you know, night prayer. I think this is... Um, I feel it's the right length, um, especially for today. Been quite busy today, um, yesterday, um, Saturday, yes. So um, this morning, to be honest, I was a little bit tired, and then um, again um, in the afternoon, I had to um, visit Central London again. It was a good time. I spent a good time um, with my fellow Koreans um, in another Saint George's Church, Saint George's Church in Bloomsbury, not in Crazy Water. So I popped in um, as they were celebrating. Um, the lunar calendar's New Year's Day, um, well, not as a day, but, you know, they were doing some party. They were doing the get-together, so I went down there um, and spent, you know, a good time with them. So um, my journey home was okay, and then, yeah, but I think now is the time for me to actually relax. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> so I think I'm spending um, 15, you know, 20 minutes um, with you before I say goodnight and goodbye. I think that's a good thing. 
Right. Um, as we know, um, let us keep um, our Lord's presence in our lives. And then if there is um, anything that you can do in terms of to help you to memorise some scripture readings, don't forget I am using lovely card. Doesn't really matter whether that's a post-it or anything. Find your best way. That's what I want to say the last. All right, then um, I'm going to see you um, when I see you. Um, now this week is a still weekday service going, but um, the week, um, Monday commencing, well, week commencing Monday, 14th of February, that is a half term week. So we're not going to have um, the weekday services that particular week, but none of the Sunday services will be affected anyway. Okay, brilliant. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day and carry on what you, are to, you have been doing. And I'm going to see you when I see you. God bless you. Good night.